Hello guys, so in this video I will be showing you how you can be able to install WordPress plugins. So it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide how anyone can be able to install WordPress plugin as a complete beginner. So if you are looking for how to install WordPress plugin, then this video is for you. So the first method is, okay, first of all, let me show you, we are going to be using two methods. Then the first method is just to search. On WordPress, search on WordPress plugin. We search for WordPress plugin at the WordPress dashboard. So let's just go back. So first of all, you go to your plugins, you go to add new plugins. That's the first step. Then once you come here, you just have to look for the plugin that you want to. <laughs> Let me say for instance now I want to add let me say for instance I want to add something like uh, WhatsApp WhatsApp how come you search for WhatsApp so if I want to add a, a plugin like hey, I didn't go this pen So remember that this is the first method of doing this. So this is the next, you can see, as I search here now, I'll be able to see the plugin I'm looking for, which is how to add a plugin. This plugin now, all I need to do is just to install. What I'm installing, so I will install and also do it at this. So I'm waiting for it to install. So if you have been looking for how to install any WordPress, okay, so after installing, I will do, do it activate. The reason I'm activating is so that it can be able to function. Without activating, it's, gonna, it's not going to function. So, we have been able to add this plugin to our website. Let's see. I don't have not been able to set it up, but let me see if it's going to show. Okay, so see the result of this plugin that we have added right now. You can see now, after adding this WhatsApp plugin, this WhatsApp plugin now, we have been able to see the plugin giving us this because of what this plugin we have added. So that is the first method of adding a plugin to your website so we are going to deactivate this and do the second way you can also delete it let's delete it and do the second method okay now let's go back and refresh the website we are using to test it now so you, as you can see now that's gonna so let's do the second method so in the second method all we need to do is to upload the plugin so we just go to something like wordpress wordpress.org we go to wordpress.org slash plugins so you can also go to a website like maybe team forest but that one now you are going to go and buy you are buying the premium versions of the team so you are going to buy the premium version of any plugin that you want maybe i can search for uh, what's up what's up plugin and you search so this one's are paid okay i haven't seen anything here so we are coming and do the same thing but all we need to do now we come to this wordpress.org slash plugins and search for let me just do the same thing i did why at the first stage so all we did was to search for whatsapp What's up? What's up? Do search. So, what's up? Then you do search. Seems I didn't get the spelling. So, okay. So, see the same plugin that we used before. 
So we are going to install the same plugin. We just click on it. So you can do this to any plugin as far as you are able to download a plugin from our site. You can be able to do it or somebody share a plugin with you in a zip file. You can do this thing I'm about to do. So as you can see, I'm downloading this one. I've downloaded it. So I'm not going to do now. We'll go back to my website. Remember, see now we don't have any what any we don't have any anything showing that the plugin for WhatsApp has been activated. So all we need to do, remember, we come to appearance, we come to plugins, we go to add new plugins. We are going to click on add new plugins. Then we instead of first searching now, we are going to upload. Click on upload and you click on choose file. So the file is this, the zip file is this. Then you I click on open, then I click on install now. Okay, so after installing it, you just do what activate. Have you seen it now? So it has been activated. Just the same way we did the first one. So all we need to do now, go to the next website, the next website, then we refresh. You can see now it has entered into our website. So this is the two ways of installing a WordPress website. The first one, you can do it by what? By just searching for the, the plugin that you need in the plug plugin section. Then the second method is uploading is the zip file of the plugin in order for you to be able to what to activate and to use the plugin in your website. So that is all for this video. So we we'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye for now.